Hello, my name is Dmitry and today I want to show you how to use my coding folding preset. Let us say that we have the composition we are currently working on and we want to add here some folding and unfolding image. First of all, you need to import my accordion folding project file, which contains several folders. The first folder contains uh, default settings, not animated, just default basic settings for creating your own effect. The second folder contains some animated presets for full screen folding and uh, the third folder contains uh, animated presets for non full screen folding. Some of these uh, presets uh, you may have seen in the demonstration video on VideoHive. And uh, also here exists uh, the solids folder that you shouldn't delete or rename or something like this. Let us start with duplicating the default settings and rename it to Tutorial. Ok. And let us rename the compositions in this folder. Ok, this is good. Please note I didn't change the paper image or paper mac or demo comp uh, words because all of these compositions serve for different purposes and if you change uh, their names uh, you may face uh, some mess in your project. For creating your own effect you have to go to paper image composition let us delete the default image and place here our image. Let us scale it down a bit, so there is uh, the space between upper and bottom borders of the image and place this image uh, so its left border touches uh, the left border of the composition. Something like this. We can also see here the layer which is named select right border of the image which includes the point control which defines the right border of the image so let us place the point at the right border of the image okay now we're done with this composition we can close it and go to the paper mac composition which contains all the code that control our effect Here you can see a lot of layers, I will explain this. Every stripe uh, consists of two layers, mask layer and image layer. If you want to change the stripes count, you have to add or delete these pairs of layers. So if I want to increase the stripes count, I simply duplicate it. Please note, if you want to create a nice uh, central folding, you have to keep the stripes count even. Now you see, I've added uh, one more stripe and now the central, you see this kind of highlighted uh, stripe, it is central. And now it is offset from the center of the composition. And it will create not very nice uh, central folding. So let us add one more stripe and we see now our central fold uh, is placed correctly. If you want to create left to right or right to left folding, the overall uh, stripes count doesn't matter at all. So let us go now to the controls layer, which includes uh, all the controls for our effect. And let us see which controls we can use. The first control is the progress, which controls the amount of folding. The next group of controls uh, include um, the color settings, 
And here I want to explain only one thing, that ambient color is the overall color of the image. And the spot color uh, defines the color of the stripes uh, which uh, face to the right. Let us see how this works. I think you've got it. And the glossiness parameter also controls the uh, kind of brightness of the stripes uh, which are faced to the right. The next option is the stripes fading in. By default, the stripes are faded in, but this fading is very quick and not very smooth if you want to add much smoother and nicer uh, fading you may turn it on and you see now our fading is much smoother okay and now you can see that we have our central stripe still highlighted it's only for creating your effect and for the final render you should turn this off. How to do this? First of all, I uh, want to explain how to select the central fold. Let us turn off the fading and go here. Okay. So, select uh, central fold control. It can be changed from 0 to 100%. 0% means that the center of the effect will be at the left and 100% means that our folding will be centered at the right. Let us leave it at 50% which means central folding and let us turn off this checkbox so we now can't see the central fold. This option is only for you when you create your own effect. The next group of controls is the uh, controls of non-linearity. Let us see that uh, uh, now the folding amount is even on the entire count of stripes. And if we turn this checkbox on, we can see that uh, now there is uh, the area with more foldness and the area with less foldness. You can also control the sharpness of the transition between this area and this area by adjusting the non-linearity sharpness control. Let us set it to something like zero and you see our, our folding becomes more even and if we increase this parameter you see that uh, the transition between the area of less folding and the area of uh, more folding is now much more sharper. And here also exists uh, the control for inversion of nonlinearity. Let us turn it on. And we see that uh, the areas of the maximum fullness and the minimum fullness are now swapped. The next group of controls is uh, the scale controls. Frankly speaking, it has nothing to do with the uh, accordion folding, but it creates a nice effect, and I decided to add uh, these controls to my project. Let us turn this on. And now you see that the stripes are scaled in. You can control this effect. You see that uh, now the minimum scale of the stripe is set to zero. It is uh, the scale start parameter. If we set it to something like 60. Now I see that our stripes uh, start to scale from 60%. And you can also see the kind of bouncing 
then our stripes uh, go from the uh, 60% to scale middle 110% if we set it to 100 there is no bouncing the stripes simply scale in let us set it back to 110 and uh, the last control is the scale middle offset it means uh, the angle at which uh, the stripe will have uh, the scale middle amount so you'd better not change this parameter but you can also play with it uh, to achieve some interesting results Okay, we are nearly done with this composition, uh, so let us select the left a stripe as the center and turn on the stripes fitting. So now we have nice and smooth result. And let us also animate this parameter to 4 seconds, I think. Okay, now I have an animated effect and let us uh, decrease the sharpness to create more smooth effect. Okay, now we are done with this composition. Let us add our folding effect to our composition we are currently working on. Simply place here the paper Mac composition and we see we have our effect ready for use in the final render. But uh, there is one more thing I've added to my preset. I call this thing markers. Which are the markers? Let us see the demo comp. You see that uh, there are arrows uh, which move accordingly to the movement of the right and left border of uh, our unfolding and folding image. How to add these markers to your composition? Just copy the right marker and left marker layers to your composition, place them at the top of the paper mag composition and parent them to paper mag composition. Now you see that these markers are now connected to the left and right borders of our image. And now you can create uh, any kind of marker you want. For example, it uh, can be hands that uh, fold and unfold your image or anything like that. Let's create uh, something like this. Place it maybe here. Maybe decrease its size. And uh, parent our marker to the right marker. So now you can see that our yellow marker is moving accordingly to the movement of uh, the right border of our image. So now we are done. If you have uh, any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.